Welcome back to The Daily Poem here on the Close Reads Podcast Network. I'm David Kern. Today's December 17th, 2019. And today I'm actually going to read two poems. Normally I read one with a few comments and then uh, read read the poem again. But today I wanted to read two because I think they act as an interesting uh, comparison or uh, they act as interesting companion pieces to uh, one another. The first poem that I'm going to read is Joseph by G.K. Chesterton. And then the second that I'm going to read is William Butler Yeats' The Mother of God. We are one week from Christmas, just about, and so I thought I would uh, read two poems today on the same day about Jesus's parents. Seemed appropriate for the time of year and seemed like a different approach than what I've done before. So while I won't have as many comments today, I will, uh, I'll, I'll let the, the two poems speak about and to one another. So first here is Joseph by G.K. Chesterton. If the stars fell, night's nameless dreams of bliss and blasphemy came true, If skies were green and snow were gold and you loved me as I love you. O long light hands and curled brown hair and eyes where sits a naked soul. Dare I even then draw near and burn my fingers in the aureole? Yes, in the one wise foolish hour, God gives this strange strength to a man. He can demand, though not deserve, Where ask he cannot, seize he can. But once the blood's wild wedding o'er, Were not dread his half-dark desire To see the Christ child in the cot, The Virgin Mary by the fire. And this is Yeats's The Mother of God. The threefold terror of love a fallen flare through the hollow of an ear, wings beating about the room, the terror of all terrors that I bore the heavens in my womb. Had I not found content among the shows every common woman knows, chimney corner, garden walk, or rocky cistern where we tread the clothes and gather all the talk? What is this flesh I purchased with my pains, this fallen star my milk sustains, this love that makes my heart's blood stop or strikes a sudden chill into my bones and bids my hair stand up. So in just a second, I'm going to read them both to you. But a couple of things that I find interesting are the way both poems touch on or, or examine the concept of terror, uh, to borrow the, the third word of the, the Yeats poem, the idea of, of fear, of of the overwhelming task at hand in being the parent of the savior of the world. The, the fears are, are slightly different, but both poems touch on that. And I think that the, the comparison and the way the two poems touch on fear is, is telling and meaningful. And then, of course, the first line of the Chesterton poem on Joseph is, is, uh, begins, If the Stars Fell. And then we get a semicolon. In the Yeats poem, we get the phrase, a fallen flare through the hollow of an ear. And then in the final stanza of the Joseph poem, we get this, but once the blood's wild wedding or were not dread his half dark desire to see the Christ child in the cot, the Virgin Mary by the fire. And then in the Mary poem by Yeats, we get, what is this flesh I purchased with my pains? This fallen star my milk sustains. So again, we get this, the fallen star concept at the beginning of Joseph showing up again at the end of the mother of God. And then she says, this love that makes my heart's blood stop. So we get once the blood's wild wedding or, and then here we get her heart's blood stop, striking a sudden chill. And so I, I find the imagery and, the, and the, the language in these poems to be really interesting because they... They touch so much on, on, like I said, terror and fear. And I wouldn't say that either poem is particularly ends with this dramatic, hopeful gesture or line or concept or, or perspective. They end with the comprehension of the challenge of the job at hand and the sense of feeling not up to it. 
which I think is something any parent, perhaps any teacher, can feel, and yet how much more uh, given their particular circumstances. So here is Joseph by Chesterton and then, and then uh, The Mother of God by Yeats. If the stars fell, night's nameless dreams of bliss and blasphemy came true. If skies were green and snow were gold and you loved me as I love you, O oh, long, light hands and curled brown hair, and eyes where sits a naked soul. Dare I even then draw near and burn my fingers in the aureole? Yes, in the one wise, foolish hour, God gives this strange strength to a man. He can demand, though not deserve, where ask he cannot, seize he can. But once the blood's wild wedding o'er, were not dread his half-dark desire to see the Christ child in the cot, the Virgin Mary by the fire. The Mother of God. The threefold terror of love, a fallen flare through the hollow of an ear, wings beating about the room, the terror of all terrors that I bore the heavens in my womb. Had I not found content among the shows every common woman knows, chimney corner, garden walk, or rocky cistern where we tread the clothes and gather all the talk? What is this flesh I purchased with my pains, this fallen star my milk sustains, this love that makes my heart's blood stop or strikes a sudden chill into my bones and bids my hair stand up? This has been The Daily Poem. Thanks so much for listening. We'll be back tomorrow with another poem for you.